Again, we are also saying that a city member of parliament has also decided to now join the NPP formally and now is contesting on the ticket of the NPP. He's been assigned the NPP logo, he's been assigned the NPP color in, 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 in consonance with regulation 14 and 15 of CI 127 by the Electoral Commission. So when these things happen, all right, the constitution is very clear as to what should, should happen. When speaker makes pronouncement or that, they say no. The people, even though they are no longer with us, they must not leave parliament. So it is not a, a crisis created by anybody. Mm. It is a crisis that originates from themselves. Mm. All right. Mm. So we are saying that if there is any blame to be to be to be to be to be assigned in this matter, the blame falls squarely on the MPP. Oh, yeah. They cannot keep an indisciplined army. The, the, the standing orders, invocation of the standing orders is secondary because it is the constitutional provision of 112 mm. that is always invoked first. Mm. You, then, you, then you back it up with the standing orders. Mm. So, so to say that if, we, if there's anything we can do to prevent it from happening, there's nothing we can do. Mm. It's a constitutional provision yeah. that they they at any time t any, any, any at any material time mm. can invoke but the abuse, abuse. Yeah, but the abuse. abuse perhaps maybe i should also get my caucus members to also apply for a recall yeah we should also apply for a recall mm. yes mm. maybe we should also consider ndc will now apply for a recall wow. and then we'll look at what happens thereafter <laughs> <laughs>